Hey, how you doing? So I'm going to describe how to replace the batteries for an HP uh, 16C uh, calculator. Uh, the calculator, it comes with three batteries. Uh, generally, you know, according to uh, HP, the, the, they're meant to last about six months. But in reality, you'll find that they, they last uh, much longer. Um, and the, the, uh, the, the calculator comes with three uh, alkaline batteries, um, but you can also use silver oxide batteries, which will last about twice as long. Um, now, the alkaline batteries that are recommended are, you know, like the Varda 4276, uh, the Rayovac RW82, National or Panasonic LR44, UCAR A76, or the Everready uh, A76 uh, Asterisk. Now, you, the uh, silver oxide batteries that you could use would be the Varda 541, the Rayovac R S76 or RW42, uh, the Duracell MS76 or the 10L14, uh, Everready 357 uh, Asterisk or the UCAR uh, 357. Now, the way that you know that you need to replace a battery is an Asterisk will show up on the bottom left corner and it'll start flashing so now that means you want to uh, install a new battery uh, and you don't want to wait too long after you know it's uh, you see the asterisk there's always danger of the uh, the continuous memory that there could be a problem with it so you know you'd like to do it reasonably quickly I mean they give you plenty of time but okay so to install the batteries, uh, you, you got to make sure that you, you turn off the calculator um, and, you know, turn the calculator over. Uh, so and then just use your thumb to, to press on the, uh, the door, the battery door in, until it opens a little. And then uh, once it opens a little, you, you, you can grab the uh, outside of the, the, of the compartment door and tilt it up so and then when you when you do that you know the batteries are, are exposed and you can you know kind of shake them out a little bit you know don't shake too hard and uh so you know um and then now when you put in batteries you want to make sure they're fresh batteries don't use rechargeable batteries and try to stay with the ones that i mentioned on that list uh, so then, you know, you, you replace the, uh, the batteries, uh, and make sure that, uh, that you position them, you know, correctly with a plus or minus, you know, it'll be indicated on there or just make sure they're the same ways and ones that you took out. Um, then just put back, you know, the, the, the piece of plastic, the tab, the, for the battery, you know, for the compartment door, just replace that. Um. And then, uh, so you lower the uh, compartment door, you know, until it's, you know, uh, flush with the case. Um, now, once you've done that, you're pretty much done. All you have to do is turn on the calculator. Now, there's a possibility that uh, the memory was reset, uh, either on purpose or um, you know, you did something that, that caused it. If that happens, uh, they'll, in the screen, it'll say PR error. And the, uh, but once, after you see the PR error, once you press, you know, a key on the calculator, you know, everything will, will be normal. So that's how to replace uh, the, uh, the battery on your, uh, on your calculator. So I, I think, uh, you should be good to go.